चलिए दोस्तों शुरू करते हैं विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम टूडे विल कौन फिगर द सेगमेंट राउटिंग दिस टोपोलॉजी इन दिस टोपोलॉजी वी हैव एन फोर राउटर्स फोर फोर राउटर्स आर आई ओ सेक्टर एंड फॉर कॉन्फिंग द सेगमेंट राउटिंग वी यूज द सेगमेंट राउटिंग ग्लोबल ब्लॉक रेंज सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड टू सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड टेन एस आर जी बी इज अ रेंज ऑफ लेबल इज फॉर सेगमेंट राउटिंग एंड दिज लेबल विल बी यूज बाई द सेगमेंट लाइट नोट सेगमेंट सॉरी नोट सीड and uh, node seed represent a node and uh, you can say that it's something like a loop back of the router and this value must be globally unique so every router should have an a unique value so all four routers every four router should have an a unique value with respect to node seed node seed or prefix seed both are the same thing as we can see that this is the prefix seed of this router this is the prefix of this router and this is the Put for this router, and this is the prefix seed for this router. And we'll complete this config in two parts. In the first part, uh, we will complete the ISIS configuration. We'll use the IGP protocol ISIS. And in second step, we'll do the segment routing configuration. In the segment routing, we have a uh, two parts for us. In the first part, we'll define the global block, global block segment routing, global block label range. In the second step. in second sub step we'll uh, enable the segment routing in the the isis process and we'll also assign the prefixed value to the loop back and later on once we done the configuration we'll verify we run the few command how to verify segment routing so let finish the configuration one by one i've logged into the first router is a p1 and let me show you the quickly configuration Currently, I have only configured the interface IP addresses and loopback IP addresses. Nothing else. This is the host name is configured and loopback, and this is the interface IP as per the topology we have configured. To save the time, I already prepared the configuration. The first step, I am going to do the ISS configuration. So here I am defining a router ISIS process name is the core, and we are using the level two only. This is the NAT ID for ISIS, and we are enabling the Mathis style wide, and we are calling the interface loopback zero and interface of the we are using the ISIS process. So here I am defining the router ISIS. Remove this command. Then only when I will enable ISIS interface loopback, we are calling an interface physical interface which is connected to the other node. We are enabling here. Okay. First step is done. Second step is our is we need to enable a sRGB global block. They are shown in the top in the topology also. We are defining global block sixteen thousand to sixteen thousand ten. Third and last step is we'll enable the node seed. Configure the node seed in the ISS process, and we enable the ISS, and we. Show run. Let's configure enable segment routing in ISIS. Segment routing in PLS. This address can be identical. In PLS, this is the thing. And one more thing we have to do here. So, router ISIS for interface loopback zero. And here in the address family IP before, we need to configure a prefix seed. Then index. As we have shown in the topology also in the one for this seed. 
absolute value we can also configure but we are in this topology we are going with the index later on we will see the absolute value also you have done that will be procedure the case one so we have defined the iss core process in the iss core process we have enabled the segment routing and on the interface loopback we have enabled the node zero to six zero index value one means it simply that is like segment of the global block range start from sixteen thousand and the prefix it index is one so for this node node zero prefix it will be sixteen thousand plus one sixteen thousand one let's so this is our second node let's do the show run so we have an only interface configuration only let's first enable the isi let me call the interface in the iss process commit we've done the iss configuration now we'll define the srgb block let me commit this also now last step is we enable the segment routing in isi let me go back to the iss process address family i've enabled the segment routing mpls then we'll define the node z dot prefix it on the loopback this is the commit only we are doing it in the iss core process we are enabling a segment routing mpls on the interface level we are defining a node zero prefix it and index i am calculating on the number of the node like p1 this is the second node you can say so index is the two there was the first node on the index was the one This is the ISS core process. Now we have configured. This is the net ID level two again. We are using, and here we are enabling the segment routing MPLS and the interface loopback. We have enabled the node zero prefixed. So node zero for this node will be sixteen thousand two because global block is starting from the sixteen thousand sixteen thousand plus two sixteen thousand two. Now we'll go to the third node. This is our third node. Let me enable the ISS first here. This I have defined the ISS process same net ID and here the interface are called in the ISS. Let me commit the ISS configuration first. Now we will define the SRGB block. So here again we are defining a segment of global block range sixteen thousand to sixteen thousand ten. Last step will call the segment routing. Enable the IS the segment routing in ISIS process. Let's go to the process. Segment routing MPLS. To the interface now. Interface loop back and configure the. Node zero dot prefix it index. Let 
this is the configuration we enable the segment routing to enable on the isr in the isr let me quickly run the game show run for the third node here we are this is the global block we have defined and here is the iss process in this iss process we enable the segment routing mpls and on the loop back we have enabled the prefix seed index so this will the the node seed the prefix seed for this node will be 16003 global back starting from a global block starting at 16000 16000 plus 3 so node seed value will be 16003 now we we'll jump back to the fourth or last so this is our fourth and last node again let me quickly verify the current configuration we have only configured the interface IP with nothing else so let's start with the step one iss config will do for the interfaces in the ISS now we're defining ISS process name net ID and then we are calling the interface in the ISS let me commit The second step will define the srgb block commit in the last step we enable the segment routing in iss process Now on the interface loop back, we'll go to the we we'll configure the prefix seed or not seed index value. The commit here we enable the second down the ISS process segment routing MPLS. We we'll configure the interface loop back and prefix it index four. Now again for this node, node with the prefix seed value will be 16,004. 16,000 plus 4 value will be 16,004. So let's do the verification now. Let me first ping the fourth node ping MPLS IPv4 4.4.4.4. This is the IP of our last node in the topology. Let me quickly verify the MPS forwarding for this last node prefix for this last node loopback IP. This is the label we are getting. As we are using the same SRGB on all of the node, we will get the same label, local label, outgoing label. So this was the node seed we have defined. We have defined the prefix seed index 4 and SRGB base was starting from 16,000, 16,000 plus 4. The value came 16004. This value is we are getting from next stop router. Next stop router divided this value. Let's check the database also for the last node. So last node LSP ID is P2000. Let me do the verbose here. And here we can see that in the in the ISIS for the segment routing getting this information. This is the SRGB base for this PE2 node last node and range is 11 0 to 10 so it's calculating and this is the node seed prefix seed value we are getting index 4 we are configured this is the value we are getting in the isis database and end flag is set so the same information we will verify from other node also let's jump back to the second node let's quickly verify here also mps forwarding table for prefix 4.4.4.4 slash 32 again 
same label as we are configuring the same SRGB block and also verify the database also here for the we can verify database is the same on each node in the IGP click to verify here for boss so this is the last node PE2 node same detail we are getting so let's verify other node database also let's verify database for our first node PE1 the same SRG block then getting only thing changes per fixed index you configure the one and then flag is set node seed flag is set feature database for the for P1 second node and flag is set Shameless forwarding here we can check again we've already checked I think let's jump back to the second node third node this is the third node let's quickly verify here show m plus forwarding table prefix for last node is 4.4.4 we'll get the this node also send the same label correct and it's in the population because next is the last node and we can verify then in database is the same we don't need to again let's check for this node itself what this node is doing is again this is the this is the data this is the SRE block we have defined this is the perfect set we are defining for this node and flag node seed flag is set these are the agency seed for the link and we'll discuss in another video